Wednesday. I'm starting this in the middle of the week. Um, it's been just like, I mean a different, it's a shorter week because of the holiday weekend. It was 4th of July this weekend, so it didn't have to work Monday. I was on Long Island with some friends. We rented a beach house and just had a few days like having such a nice little summer weekend getaway. We were all talking about it and I was like, I legitimately don't remember the last time I've been in a house. Like I'm only in apartments ever. And probably, I'm trying to think, and the last time I think I was in a house was, it's not even a house, because my parents live in like a condo. But, <laughs> like when I was home for Christmas. So, I don't know, it was just so nice. There was a huge backyard. We were like 10 minutes from the beach. It was such good weather. We went to a winery, we grilled out. We like had all these summery snacks and treats and made s'mores. We had a fire pit in the backyard and it was just like, the most wholesome, fun getaway that I very much needed. We drove back yesterday morning, so I worked a half day in the afternoon for Tuesday. And then I was just exhausted, honestly. It's not even that we didn't get sleep, like we were in bed before midnight, like both, all three nights, we were there for three nights. I was just drained, so I went to sleep early. And I, I feel like I need to get my life together a little bit, but it's a work day, so it's been a few hours. This morning I had my coffee, responded to emails, morning meetings, and now I just ran downstairs to get my mail that arrived. I got a few packages while I was gone, and I'm excited to show you guys. This one I ordered. I love a good lounge sweater to put on, and I usually, I have a lot of crew neck sweatshirts and a few hoodie pullovers, but I only have one zip up, like zip up hoodie that I really like and I love wearing it over things in tank tops and I think they're just better for the summer, honestly, because you can wear them like open and stuff. And the one I have is like green. So I wanted a neutral one. So I got this one, it's like an Essentials Men's one on my Amazon page. I just got the light heather gray color. I feel like this is a classic, I don't know, I just feel like I had 10 of these that were embossed with my dance studio on them or something when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, these are by Haynes, they're Eco Smart. So they're actually pretty thin, which I really like because when it's warm out and you just wanna wear it, you know, running errands, taking a walk in the morning before it gets hot outside. I don't know, I just wanted something that would be easy to throw on. It's still really comfy. It looks white in this lighting, but I swear it is a very light heathered gray. So, yay, I got this in a large and it's soft. So I think this will be just what I need. Yep, I mean, this is not really a good example with this quarter zip. So cozy, just what I wanted, I think the fit is nice it goes like down to here and then if i zip it up okay well this is good i put on workout clothes this morning because i'm gonna try and get a workout in at lunchtime but yay happy with this purchase i do think i'd like it a little more gray it's pretty light but at the same time nice next is a surprise little package from my management Tabor Rock always sends the cutest little summery packages so thank you so much Tabor Rock desert club Cute. They're very like, they're beach themed, but they do a lot of like California stuff. So I like the whole desert angle. They always send the like nicest cups too. Oh, how fun. This is a created stainless steel straw cup. It says Table Rock Desert Club on it. So this should keep it cold for a long time. This is great for like summer. I honestly need something like this where it's like very airtight and even the straw part. This is great for like taking drinks to the park. T-shirt. Oh, this is, looks so comfy. This is a long sleeve that says Table Rock Desert Club. Table Rock Desert Club, long sleeve. It looks so cozy. And you know I can never run out of nice little lightweight totes. Very fun. Thank you guys so much if you're watching. Really appreciate you. Last, but certainly not least, because this is what I've been most excited for. I have been searching so long for the freaking rare beauty bronzer stick like the cream bronzer and no luck i've been to many a sephora and my own sephora many a time and they just never have it like it's sold out all the time and it was sold out online all the time and then finally i was going to check the store location online to see if they had it and i realized that they had it in stock online and i was like you know what screw it i'll just order an online order finally try it and see what the hype is all about i really want to like cream bronzer and blush just because my skin is dry and I think that it is a really nice look for summer. So we're gonna try it out. 
And then I, of course, had to order a few other things too because I was placing a score order. One of my samples, I got the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. So great for dry skin. Again, all the shade range. And the It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum in Cream. And I just purchased three products. I guess first I'll show you the one that I already talked about. The Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul. I think it's the second lightest or third color. And I've tried out the samples in the store, but not this. Well, actually, yeah, I did try this color. Um, I figured that this would be the best for me and the most versatile with changing seasons and tan and everything. Oh, finally, who would have thought I'd ever actually own one? Okay, here she is. Nice and smooth. Oh, so creamy. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. It honestly looks a little dark, but I mean, it is bronzer and you can blend it out and everything. Yep, I'm stoked about this. Okay, so I don't think I plan to wear makeup. To oh wait, I will be wearing makeup today because I'm going to my friend's birthday dinner tonight. I completely forgot that with you guys. That's why I wanted to work out during lunch so I can wash my hair and have clean hair before dinner tonight. Okay. I got the Flawless Filter in 3 Fair, and this is what everyone raves about to get like the nicest finish on your foundation, or like you mix it with a skin tint or something, is what you're supposed to do. I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of foundation and see how it goes. I just got the small one, and I just had to guess my shade because I was ordering online. It looks a little, well, I guess it's good for summer. It doesn't look that fair to me, TBH, and I don't really know what's so flawless about this filter. And usually my skin doesn't work with most things that other people's skin does. Oh, it has like a dewy finish. It blends really well. I do think it's supposed to be lightweight. So I guess I'll try this today also. I don't know if I've ever seen this in the store, but online they had like a bigger size of the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. So I figured I might as well order that because I go through it so quickly that this might help slow it down a little bit oh yes this is the hyaluronic acid two percent with b5 and this will hopefully tie me over a little bit and it was a better value because it was like i think it was i mean not by much but 13 bucks for this size and half of this size is 750 so you have a couple dollars but i love using this right after i wash my face and to lock in some moisture i'm very excited very excited to try these out. I'm gonna get back to work and finish a project that I'm working on hopefully before lunch and then I'll go work out. I'll do like 30 minute workout or 40 or something like that and then come back and shower quick before I get back to work. So that's the plan. Um, I feel like I'll just probably spend the work week chilling here. Um, I don't know if I have plans to like go co-work anywhere or go to the office or anything. What else? I kind of want to go to a movie in the park tomorrow. They're starting them at Brooklyn Bridge Park on Thursdays, every other Thursday. And tomorrow's the first one. So hopefully I'll let you guys know. We'll find out in this vlog if I actually get to do that or what I get up to this week. I don't have any plans this weekend. Um, very chill. We're just along for the ride. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay, end of the day, finished work, got my workout in at lunch, and then I've just been on my computer, and I'm trying this headband for the first time. I got this at Five Below when I was getting decor for my friend's birthday. Um, so, let's see how it goes if I look ridiculous in this bow. Yep, I do. <laughs> but at least it'll keep my hair out of my face. So. I am going to try a couple of my new products with you guys. I put on my primer, Tula, so good, face filter. I realized after reading the Flawless filter a little bit more, I turned off the camera. It's actually meant to be a highlighter, but you can also use it all over your face or mix it with foundation. So I think what I'm going to do is like dot it on my face more towards the high points and then fill in with my foundation and then mix it all together also at five below i think i might have filmed that in my last vlog but i got another real techniques sponge i for some reason thought this was going to be the same consistency as like this thick one the normal one that i use for foundation but it's much lighter like it balls up really small dot this on my face also on high points but not as much okay so now let's try with the flawless filter on its little doe foot and i'm just gonna dot it like 
along the highlights. And I'm just using the thicker real techniques and kind of dabbing it all into the skin. Okay, I feel like I'm seeing some of the shininess come through with the flawless filter. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell the difference, honestly. But I'm gonna do concealer first and then go in with a little bit of powder on the greasiest spots and then do the cream bronzer and see how we like it. The moment we've all been waiting for, I mean, all I mean literally me. Some people just put this directly on a brush, but I kind of want to try it like on my face. So we'll see. I feel like that's a decent color. Nice. Oh, I think that looks nice. I mean, that's not blended enough, but. Very warm, I like the color. Definitely into this. Um, I think it was worth the wait. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then show you guys after. Actually, let's do a little dramatic sponge. I'm about to put you on to maybe my favorite Amazon fashion purchase of all time, which says a lot. These pants, boom baby. I wish you were my life to was going to death now forever. Oh, <laughs> oh, you got it. That's good enough. Thank you. Hello, good morning. It is 8 a.m on Thursday and I'm getting ready now to go into the city. I'm finally gonna go and try working at that library that I've been talking about with the rooftop, the Stavros Niarcos. I'm probably still saying that wrong, I gotta learn. Um, rooftop, they have a seventh floor that is open to the public and free and uh, a workspace essentially. And I have, I think they have a little cafe and everything. And I tried to go before, it was closed for a private event. They do a lot of events there. And then the weather was bad another time, so I didn't go. And today's the day. It is cloudy, so hopefully it wouldn't be too harsh of sunlight. Actually, it's probably covered and everything. Still would have been, but it's cloudy, a high of 80, so not too hot, and no events. I checked the website, <laughs> so we're in the clear. I'm gonna try and head out if here in like 20 minutes or so. Try to do my scare one hand. And I need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear. I don't have to be on camera today for any meetings, which is good. So my outfit doesn't really matter. So I might wear something just pretty casual. And we also, I think, are gonna try and check out that movie in Brooklyn Bridge Park tonight, because it's not supposed to rain. And I think it'll be nice. So I wanna wear something ooh, that's versatile for that if I don't have a chance to come back here and change. Last night, the birthday dinner was so, so fun. They sent us this whole dessert carousel thing which was so cute that was great filled my cup and now we're getting back to work and hopefully gonna have a productive day at the library okay i gotta put this camera down if i'm gonna finish this in this century and i'll show you guys if i pick something decent to wear i just decided to go with the plain black h&m dress i wore this last week but just to run errands so whatever and i think it's just versatile when I want to be comfy, but it's warm outside and it's cute, but yeah. And if we go to the park, this is like fine to lay in the park because it's long. So that's the outfit. I'm gonna head to the library, catch the train and have a good day. Elise went to a gummy shop to charge her laptop, but I decided it was so nice out. I wanted to stay out here after we eat, 
sushi from Whole Foods for lunch. So I'm working offline a little bit and their Wi-Fi doesn't really work. So luckily I have some stuff that I could do not online, but such a beautiful day. Look at that blue sky. Can't complain. Good morning everyone, happy Friday, kicking off the last day of the week. I am gonna run an errand really quick. I'm just gonna go drop off my newly box from June. I'm a little bit behind because it's July. I was about to say July 11th, but that's not true because 7-Eleven is Monday, which is Slurpee day. And I intend to get a Slurpee when I watch the Bachelorette premiere. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, it's like getting towards the 10th. So, time to get some new clothes from Newly. So I'm gonna return these. I actually bought one of the items. I bought the flare pants that I showed you guys when I tried it on. Um, this box was a little bit of a miss for me. I got a couple things that I wore and loved and wore a lot and then there was two things that I, three things that I never wore and I bought one. So it was a mixed bag, literally. <laughs> so I'm currently ordering Dunkin'. I'm gonna drop this off and then go pick up a coffee. I just felt like buying coffee out because it's Friday. Treat yourself. And I loved last week when I tried the brown sugar cold brew. So I'm gonna get that again, and they're still doing $3 medium cold brews. So I'm gonna go for that. Pick it up, mobile order. I just love a mobile order anywhere. Give me a place where I don't have to stand in line. It's kind of hot outside. I opened the window and it's pretty humid today. Yesterday was like, it got pretty chilly. The movie last night, you guys, I'm obsessed with that movie now. I didn't even get to finish it because we didn't want to stay till the very end. It was getting late. They started the movie kind of late. They had a short film before it. And so, and late enough, we're like, okay, we should go because Elise had kind of a far commute to get back to Midtown Manhattan. And it's just kind of hard to get out of Dumbo sometimes. So we left a little early. So I missed the ending of the movie, but I'm determined to find it somewhere today and watch the end because I loved it. I can't believe I haven't seen it before. It came out literally the year I was born, um, before sunrise again. Apparently it's a trilogy. People were messaging me that I need to see the second one before sunset and the third one before midnight also and the brooklyn bridge park was such a good backdrop for an outdoor movie it was gorgeous stunning i got some video clips i think of the sunset and it was just chef's kiss so nice so i definitely want to go back i think they do them every other thursday and whereas bryant parks every monday but I'm trying to scope out as many outdoor movie venues i can this summer because they're just such a great pastime especially when they're free going to get coffee going to return this and then I'm coming back and determined to finish a cover letter and submit this application I've been working on today. I got actually a good wind um, towards the end of the workday yesterday. Elise works longer hours than I do. So I like logged off and she was still working for a bit. So I got very productive and focused on some job search stuff. And I'm feeling like I'm finally getting the momentum that I've been like waiting for. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it up today, try and submit stuff and get some work done, edit a video. All that jazz. Finally submitted an application that I've been like drawing out and stressing over and overthinking and all that jazz that I finally finished the cover letter and like looked over it 10 times and submitted everything. Yay. It was also one of those applications where like you not only upload your resume and cover letter and all that, but they want you to go through and type out every single like previous job, education history separate, and your references and all that. And I couldn't save it. So I'd like started it a few times and then I just never had been finished with the cover letter and I couldn't save it so I lost all of it. <laughs> so finally I just sat down and I was like, I'm just gonna do it. And I did and I feel so good and accomplished and excited about it really. Like I feel like I got more and more excited, more research I did on it. So again, fingers crossed. 
knock on wood. This is fake wood, I don't know. Does that count? It's 1.30 now. I'm gonna eat something finally. I'm gonna make like a bagel sandwich or something. And I'm just so <sighs> proud of myself. And like it wasn't that hard. I just need to actually start, so. Yay! Later in the day Friday now. My hair's doing all this. What a look. And I literally spent the entire day with good reason, but I was just sitting in my apartment um, working on job applications and it was such a productive day and I actually, like I said earlier, got the momentum that I needed and got so much done and submitted multiple and I'm just feeling like very accomplished in that regard and it was a big relief. So, so a good day really, even though I have not left my apartment since I ran errands this morning, but feeling good and now I'm getting ready because this evening I'm going to dinner in Midtown. We're going to a place called Chai that my friend says is amazing and super cozy and something like that. It's Chinese food. I haven't been to Chinese actually in ages. Just need to get out of the apartment in like this headspace, I think. Part of me at first was like, no, like I just like feel cozy at home, lazy, not really wanting to go anywhere, stay in and watch a movie or something. But then I was like, you know what? I think it would be good for me to get out of this environment and go out and do something in the world. So I also watched the end of the movie from the park last night before sunrise and it was so good. It didn't end how I thought it was going to, honestly, but I kind of like the, well, I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's also been out since I was born. So, oh well. I like that they end very open to interpretation, I guess I'll say. And then I watched the sequel also. Unfortunately, they don't stream on any platforms for free, so I paid to rent them on Amazon Prime. Um, and I watched the sequel, which also had the same kind of vibe. It's like, it's them meeting up again nine years later. But it's just so interesting to hear their conversations about like where life took them and how they interpret, you know, relationships with people throughout time and I don't know, it was just, I love those, I love the characters, I really like the movies, I need to watch the third one. Anyway, I feel like I'm slowly getting into the phase of job searching where instead of like doing little steps and dreading it and pushing it off, um, I'm like finding momentum and getting more excited about the opportunities to come instead of like being sad about leaving my current job, which of course I still am and will be, but I think it's important to focus on the good, what you can get out of something new instead of focusing on what you're leaving behind, especially when it's out of your control and seeing what else is out there that I could like learn from and grow into a new position because ultimately that is what I want in a career is to like constantly be evolving and challenging myself and learning in new positions. That sounded sexual. <laughs> But yeah, so that's kind of the attitude that I'm trying to put on it. And I also think, I saw a TikTok that actually really put things into perspective in terms of rejection. Because I think sometimes what holds me back in these situations of going through the job search process again or whatever, um, you know, when you're just like putting yourself out there in whatever circumstance it is, um, when you think about rejection, I think that's something that I struggle with a lot, as we all do. And... I don't know, I've just always been like this where it's like I have to like push myself so hard to even take the first step but then finally once the ball is rolling it's like very smooth but I think it's like a looming fear of rejection ultimately where I have to go through the whole process again of like you know getting the rejection emails which isn't that big of a deal but then going through interviews and like feeling really good about something and then not getting it and all that which is inevitable and part of the process but something I saw on TikTok that kind of like gave me a better perspective on it was if you knew that there would be 67 no's before your dream yes, you would be running to each and every one of those no's. You have to have the faith in yourself. You have to back yourself and know that like you will find the right thing for you and you have to go through those no's to get there and just like pretend it is guaranteed, cause it is, you know, like we'll, we'll all get there, hopefully. Um, you just have to pretend that a psychic literally told you or you saw into your future and you have this job that you love and it's perfect and it's great because then you'll be excited about getting through all the no's that you know you have to get to to get there. Does that make sense? I'm trying to keep that perspective in this process and be optimistic. And also it is kind of like a good reminder to myself of how much I really have accomplished and like, I don't know, I always feel like imposter syndrome when I'm looking at job postings and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not good enough for this or they don't need this. But then when you take stock and you like update your resume and you write your cover letters and actually look at how 
much experience you've gained that applies to what you're applying for and like what you actually could bring to something and you're like whoa dealing with all that and i feel like i've gone through that a lot today so i've just been very in my head which is why it's i need to get out of the house um and i'm feeling kind of drained for some reason so i'm drinking an alani new energy drink that was left over i drank half of this the other day and i left it in my fridge so i need to leave probably in like 20 minutes now and i've dilly dallied speaking to you guys for 80 minutes so i'm gonna put my hair up i don't even know if we're gonna go to any like bars or anything after but Anyway, yeah, that's where we're at. That's how we're feeling on this Friday, rounding out the short week and on a good note. Just about ready to go. It might rain, but we're hoping not. Um, I decided to wear a tank top because it's warm out. It's like this little slouchy guy and jeans. So pretty casual. I just need to like get a mood booster, get out of this apartment. Yes, I'm going to dinner. I'm. I feel like I'm ending this vlog on a weird note. I don't know. I'm just like in a weird headspace, even though I am feeling really good and accomplished um, from today, like I talked about. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of a short work week in my life. And subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on TikTok. I've started to post TikToks and I'm working on being consistent out there. So follow along and see if it actually happens. Love you so much. See you in my next vlog. Bye. Enjoy your weekend.